this video we're going to be doing the word Chinese. Okay, well, the first thing we'll look at is a, is a very common double combination, CH. There's a special uh, version of assigned to CH. It doesn't really look like a CH, but I'll give you the quick history on this. This is T, and this is TH. So TH became this over time, or this. You don't actually need that extra dash out under there. And so CH, eventually there was a point where it was just suggested that CH be the reverse of TH, as they're both so common, and we just with an extra line. So this is where this CH comes from. It doesn't actually represent the C very well, but... We'll leave it for now. Technically, there are the right amount of lines. So if you look at it, H, and then if you were to try to draw a C, maybe, basically, you got one, two, three, four. So one line, two, three, four. Now, they're com you can't really look at it that way, but just for visualization. Anyway, so Chinese, we've got it here. Now, the simplest way to connect these would be C, H, I, N, E, S, E. Well, actually, the simplest way is you draw that E as a second E. Okay, so that's the simplest, simplest possible way to draw this word. First, let's try to smooth it up. So, C, H, I, N, and now we can draw the E like so, and then E like so. Getting better. Kind of neat. We got an eye and a mouth and a nose there, I think, if you, if you look at it the right way. Now, what else do we have here for double combinations we can use? Well, first of all, we got I, N. I, N is a very common, common combination. It's its own word, I. N. Now you can draw it in the simple combination way, but you can also draw it like so. And then a pre a preceding letters would connect in from there, and following letters would connect from there or there. So IN can be reduced to a single sh shape, uh, similar to the I cup. So if we use that, we've got C H I N E S E. Okay, this is starting to get pretty interesting. Now we could start skewing those and pulling those up. So we could start putting the E over here and then maybe filling the space better. That might look a little better. We've got some interesting options here. The other thing we can do is we can try angling it a bit. So CH, sorry, that wasn't very well written. C-H-I-N, that would have to be smoother. And then maybe put more over there, and then S-E. We've got a whole lot of options. We Basically, we can start creating side chains. Descripts allows for side chains. Many letters allow for multiple connection points. One of the best ones is L and X and X especially when it's got its word line. So the word would be coming down the word line, hit the X, and you're left with five possible side chains to connect off. The L allows for three, the C allows for two. Circular letters allow for virtually infinite. The O or the E allow for virtually infinite amounts of connection points. So we've got a lot of options to play with here. Let's just try to make a nice little square version. So if we've got a square box to fill, we probably look at drawing the CH directly across the top, as that's the most aesthetically pleasing way to go at it, I think. Um, the next thing we can do is we do I, I'd say we'd go N, E, and then maybe, ah, here we go, I've got a better idea. N, E, S, E, no, not going to fill the space. I was going to draw the E over top of that. So let's simply try making the E's a little bigger. Not bad. Okay, the ratios have to all be played with. That'll have to be rotated slightly, but you get the idea. Chinese.